2023, Northern Leaders Supporting Osibanjo reveals what they are doing to help him become the president and why they choose to support Osibanjo over Tinubu. Hello, my wonderful people. It's the same old story. It's called Kill and Divide. Okay, so um, Northerners or Northern Leaders, I mean, the governor of Nasarawa State was one of the first persons to indicate that he was one of those who is going to be supporting Osi Banjo left, right, and center. In fact, he was very bold in his approach when he declared it and said Osi Banjo should take over from Buhari, you know. And we know that, I mean, well, by the way, we are not um, soliciting for either of them, whether Osi Banjo, Tinubu, okay, what we need in Nigeria. I believe the common Nigerian man on the streets, the regular Nigerian man and woman, just want life, everything in order they are not asking much from the government just an enabling environment transportation working well roads point on point children can go to school i don't think they want any more and they don't even care whatever they do in their quarters however these very things the very basis and the very fundamental that everybody need is being is being is being denied them of this administration and that's why the call and the sincere cry continues to re, re, rise up and say we are tired we want a difference however the north is saying osiba joy is our choice but why please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details yes the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has continued to distance himself from speculation linking him to the 2023 presidency. His supporters have, have however, continued to drum support for him to contest in the 2023 presidential election on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. According to The Guardian, a prominent member of the Osibanjo for President Group had revealed that the Northern leaders in APC are doing so for the vice president so he can become the presidential candidate of the party come 2023. This is what is happening. First, the group revealed they are working to smooth the relationship between the vice president and the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, so nothing will frustrate the Southwest bias vote. Just like Osiba and Joe, supporters of Tinubu have also strongly and are pushing him seriously to run for the presidential position come 2023. The two men have been getting various endorsements from various groups across the country to run for president. However, both men belong to the same political party and camp. If care is not taken, this endorsement might cause this satis this 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 agreement between them also a cordial relationship between them is already estranged for the southwest buyers buyers vote if one of them decide to run for the presidency the vote will be divided this may be the reason why the group is working to smoothen first the relationship between osibanjo and tinubu and they trust that the ability of osibanjo to revive the key sector like education health agriculture judiciary defense and others uh, some quarters have secretly said osibanjo and Joe will be a better president than what we have with Buhari because he's more exposed and he has the academic qualification and seem to be a better leader who will bring about balance and ensure that the lines of divide that have destroyed Nigeria today could be mended. If anyone could do that, that person would be Osibanjo. And so we're working tirelessly to ensure that he takes over the reins of leadership. So this is what the North believes, okay? The North believes strongly that um, Osibanjo um, has got what it takes and um, secretly you know, you remember the other time we 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 we, we produced you a news that um, you know some northern APC members were having a meeting and they were wishing that Buhari dies now. Yes, they said they want Buhari to die now so that Osibanjo can take over because the man is doing nothing. The lives that are being destroyed and everything that is going on is a clear indication that you know Buhari is not the man. It's just a figurehead. He doesn't even, I mean, if you talk about leadership, it's just there, you know, as I'm telling him, do this, do that. The man does not even know his left from his right. But I don't understand why we thought that this man would be able to govern a whole nation. 
You don't understand it. This man is an SS3 older. And even though SS3 older, is still very questionable. Because he got into the military and quickly rose, you know, in those days. And at some point, military coup. He was one of those who was able to, you know, rule as a military leader, blah, blah, blah. Does not mean today's day and age. He has what it takes. You know, if we are to go back in memory lane, we will really see our faults all before our very eyes. We will see it lining up before us. Okay, where we really, you know, those mistakes we made, we will see it before our very eyes that we cost what is upon us today. Okay, the choices we made, the choices we made, the things we did, we will not blame anybody. I think we'll be blaming ourselves even right more that we did not make the right choice when we should. Because if you look at it very closely, let's be very honest. What? Why did we think that uh, 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 Buhari could actually lead the nation? What apart, apart from that, the fact that he was once a military leader, yes, and that um, I mean, if you look at it very closely, why why do you think, why do you and I think that he will be the one to be able to bring about thorough administration and bring about change in Nigeria? What was the what what brought about that thought pattern? Okay, because when you when we make a decision, we should know that. I know that not everybody voted for him. Don't get me wrong, and I know that. Um, I know not everybody voted, and I also know that um, the, 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 at the end of the day, people's votes may not really count, and we were seriously warned. Oh, yes, we were warned to remember that this may not be the man. We were all warned, you know, but what we see, what we heard, what we thought, we allowed it to drive us rather than paying attention and really taking a deep and a serious consideration on what could potentially happen. If this man becomes Nigerian's president today, we are living with the consequences of the actions we made some time ago. You know, we just really hope that God will help us because we don't know how very much longer we can continue and holding up with all this going on with us. OK, people are dying. Things are happening. Yet Buhari does not even have a clue. OK, makes speeches when he goes abroad and try to. I mean, he does not say he does not uh, change anything. OK, and the speeches is not is going nowhere. So these are some of the things going on right now. And um, it's a serious call for attention for every one of us to really, you know, look look inwardly and ask ourselves, why did we ever choose this person? Going forward, what should be the, you know, the reason and what should we be looking at in picking a leader? Okay, leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.